132 pound final here in the Bear Gym in the pack tournament. We have the one seed, Keebway McNair. And the two seed, Jarek Svansson from Upper Perk. McNair is just a sophomore, 28 and 2 in the season. Svansson, a senior, 25 and 4. Another throwback singlet here by the uh, Upper Perk Indians. McNair mowed his way to finals, Joe, pinning both opponents. I feel like McNair's just been on a mission this year. Nice job at using that Russian tie to a little single. And he's there. We talk, You talked about earlier. Exactly. You talked about earlier. You got a table and you get down there. You can't sit and wait. Uh, that was more Beto's problem in the match. He's got that uh, ankle wizard yep. in there. Svansson doing a good job wrestling back into him, not giving him anything. Both of these kids look strong, Joe. Yeah. McNair, McNair comes in rank two in the district. But yeah, McNair, I, I felt probably in his eyes, if you talk to him, had a disappointing freshman season the way it ended. Uh, you know, so he's just been on another level. Had some big wins this year. Pinned Antonio Petroselli about two, three weeks ago. Uh, and just doing a nice job. There he is deep oh, on that. So what quick. Was, should have been like a fireman's, but then he got in deeper than he thought he was going to. And he comes out. Oh, that's a quick two. I don't know how you, you give McNair two there, but that's why I'm not the official, Ryan. <laughs> 30 seconds go here in the match. There, that would be two after he gets pops on top. But again, I'm sure someone will comment on that and say, I don't know the rules. <laughs> <laughs> I still love you, Joe. All, hey, at the end of the day, it's all that matters. Yeah. So, 12, 10 seconds go here in the period. Still 2 nothing in favor of McNair. Oh. That's how we end the period. Advancing to his feet. Um, there was but two seconds left there, Joe. He yeah, doesn't get it. McNair's choice. And he defers. Advancing goes back down to start the second. Stands him to his feet and gets to escape this time. Stands with a shot. McNair up to the challenge of sprawling away from it. Now they're both in over unders. We'll see if someone steps in and wants to have a little bit, wants to dance a little bit. Yeah. Both guys kind of digging. More McNair getting some pressure in. He's got to watch. There oh, it is. He wow. baited him into it. He baited him into that. He was pushing, 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 waiting for Zanson to come back in, and he launches him. He's getting swipes. He's got Zanson in a lot of trouble, and there's your fall there you in the go. second period. Wow, and, beautiful. You know, again. I'll tell you, I was watching this McNair. He was doing backflips and all kinds of stuff to get ready for the match. Just uh, a, a lot of athletic ability in McNair. Yep. You totally baited him into it, whereas, you know, two seconds earlier I was talking about he's got to watch the amount of pressure he's getting forward, and as soon as he lets off, Vanson steps in and he launches him. What a great job there by McNair. Again, like I said, I feel he's on a different level the way he's been wrestling this season. He uh, a lot of unfinished business after after last year. He's a stud. Yep. Bright future here in District 1 and, and beyond. So that would be it for this uh, weight class we'll be back on for one uh, 